What's up guys, Jeff from Sorta Health here. In today's video, I'll be taking you through a small group personal training session. I won't be showing you the entire session because honestly, that would just be super boring to watch. Instead, I'll be showing you a good chunk of a session where I trained Alexis and her sister, Margaret, and I'll be giving you guys a bunch of tips that will help you do small group training sessions along the way. Some quick background here, both of these two clients are relatively young and neither of them have any injuries or other things that limit them in an exercise setting. Also, today's workout is total body with a moderate rep Count. So let's get into the workout and get you guys some information that you can use in your own small group personal training sessions. Before we get into that, all I ask is that you consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. This really helps to support us over here at Sorta Healthy and allows us to keep making free content for all of you. Thank you so much guys, I really appreciate the support. Now on to the rest of the video. So we are going to jump in with a warm up and the first thing we're going to do are some Frankensteins. Now Frankensteins, what you're doing basically is just kind of kicking up and diagonally across and reaching with the opposite side arms. You guys can spread out a little bit. Um, don't go too far, otherwise you won't be in the camera. Try not to kick each other and you guys can start whenever you're ready. Yeah, we'll just do each one of these things for about 30 seconds. Getting you guys warmed up for all the fun stuff. You know, very exciting, very exciting. Lively crowd. Three, two, one. Next thing we're gonna do are some just body weight squats. Just shoot for about 10 reps where you're getting the hips as far down and back as you can comfortably. And make sure you're putting the arms out in front for right now, okay? We are gonna be doing some squats coming up in the workout, so we're just kind of getting them prepped for that. Good stuff, guys. Okay, some arm circles. Doesn't matter how big your arm circles are, doesn't matter what direction you're going in. This is like awkward eye contact. Um, but yeah, feel free to change around some directions, just get the shoulders kind of warmed up, ready to go for all the good stuff that is coming up. All right guys, our first move of the day is goblet squat, and I'm just gonna pass you guys some dumbbells here. Alexis has been lifting for longer than Margaret. Should I call you Margaret, by the way? Sure, yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, so Alexis has a, a beefier dumbbell there. They both look good in the warm-up squats, so essentially I'm gonna have them do the same thing. We're aiming for 15 reps here, guys. So hips down and back, shifting that weight back onto your heels. You guys can start whenever you're ready. Go feet a tiny bit wider apart, Margaret. That looks a lot better. Okay, good. Alexis, you look pretty good and it would be really embarrassing if you didn't look good so i'm glad you can do a <laughs> squat that is a relief how does that weight feel for you alexis easy medium, easy medium. how about you margaret pretty good. okay that's where we need to be difficulty wise and they got their reps done so we're good on that all right guys we're moving on to reverse lunges reverse lunges are pretty tough so i'm just gonna pass out some dumbbells here here you go margaret and here you go Alexis. We'll see how these weights feel. And again, we're kind of all just a little bit more bunched up than we would normally be. That way we're all in camera. Again, typically you'd want to space out for this. Anyways, we're looking for 12 reps per side. I want you guys lunging back nice and far. Um, let's have you guys alternate between legs each time as well. Okay, so right side, left side. You guys can start whenever you're ready and I'll just kind of critique form as need be. Demonstrate every exercise before telling your clients how to do them. The only reason I'm not doing that here is because I'm attached to a camera and I know they know how to lunge. And I actually have a mirror over here so I can see their form from a different angle too. They're both looking pretty solid so far. What do you guys think? Easy, medium, hard? Medium, medium for both, okay. They're making my job really easy today. I'll take it though. Again, it is 12 per side, 24 in total. That's kind of a lot, I think they're probably gonna be not very happy uh, towards the end of this. That was good. So in round one of goblet squats, we learned that their weights were a little bit too light. They both kind of found it easy medium, so we're bumping that up a little bit. There you are, and there you are. Form looked pretty good once we widened, widened uh, Margaret's stance a little bit. And Alexis, you probably just need to focus on shifting the weight back onto your heels a little bit more. Um, you guys can start whenever you're ready. We're sticking with 15 reps. Off camera, they both told me their weights were a little bit light in round one. Ask your client if exercises felt easy, medium, or hard, so you know if you have to adjust the intensity. How does that weight feel for you guys now? Easy, medium, hard? What do you think, Alexis? Medium. Medium? What did you think? Pretty good. Pretty good? Okay. All right, I'll take it. 
Okay, so the weight we had last time for both of these two was good. It was pretty much already, I think a little bit on the challenging side, and we're gonna keep it that way. So we're still gonna do 12 reps per side. Their form was pretty much spot on as well. If their form wasn't spot on, I would be correcting them, of course. Uh, you guys can start when you're good. So same reverse lunge as we did. You may wanna lunge just a little bit further back, Margaret. Don't worry, you're not gonna hit me. You got a pretty good amount of room there. This probably goes without saying, but correct a client's form in a small group setting just like you would in a one-on-one -on -one session. And Alexis, make sure your knee is tracking a little more over your toes. Is that right side bothering you? The right knee? Yeah, that one's bending in a little bit. So just try and keep it straight ahead of the toes. You guys are both looking solid now. And I think we're good. Perfect, good work guys. Our next move is supine dumbbell press. And I have some weights here. I'm not exactly sure if they're gonna be perfect for these two, but we'll see. I kind of want them to uh, be medium difficulty. And um, we're still aiming for 15 reps. So I want you guys to, while you're laying down with your knees pretty much exactly how they are right now, Keep your shoulder blades a little bit pinched in back, squeeze your abs tight, and I'm gonna pass you guys some dumbbells. Now normally I would just stand and like hand them to them normally, but I am attached to a camera here. There you go. All right, so you guys can get started whenever you're ready, just pushing them straight up from there. There you go. Perfect. And again, we're aiming for 15 reps and hopefully the last uh, three or so get pretty tough. We'll see where we end up here. In a small group setting, choose exercises where you can adjust the client's weight easily, just like you can with the floor press here. So I know we're coming up on 15 here. Good stuff, guys. So our next exercise is called the quadruped row. Basically what we need to do, we need to keep the back nice and flat, the abs nice and tight, and the knees are aligned with one another. And from that position, we're pulling that dumbbell right up, just like we would with any other row comes all the way back down to the ground, and then we're repeating, okay? I want you guys to start off with 15 reps in round one. It might be a little bit easier. Sometimes people are stronger pulling than they are pushing. So if it feels easy, we may modify things a little bit in round two, but you guys can start whenever you're ready. I'll be watching the form. It's kind of an awkward version of the row, but it's good. It definitely affects the core a little bit more than doing it off of a bench, so I like that. Try to combine moves that you can move between pretty quickly. Having the floor press and quadruped row back to back helps with time efficiency. Did it feel easy, medium, or hard? Medium. Easy. Easy, I figured it would. All right, we'll change it up in round two. We'll either give her a heavier weight or we'll just make her do extra reps. We'll figure that out soon. So we're on to round two of the dumbbell floor press here. I'm gonna pass you that. Can you grab that? Yep. She's got it. All right, you guys can get started as soon as you're ready. We're still keeping 15 reps. Uh, they told me that the difficulty was pretty much medium-ish. So we're kind of already where we need to be. So we're keeping these weights. And yeah, looks like they're, they're struggling the right amount here. Looks like we're in good shape. Make sure you can always check your multiple clients form. You have to be more careful when planning your exercises when you're training multiple people. So we're on to round two of the rows. Uh, Margaret's weight is a little bit heavier just because it was kind of easy in round one. I think it's gonna work out a lot better this time around. And uh, Alexis, you got the same thing. We're still aiming for 15 reps. Backs are flat, abs are tight, knees are aligned, and you guys can go whenever you're ready. Because I asked Margaret how the weight felt in round one, I knew it was a little bit too easy. Ask your clients lots of questions. Actually, back your knees up a little bit, Alexis. You're like all bunched up. Perfect. Was it tougher in round two? I feel like it was pretty good difficulty that time. All right, cool. <laughs> Did you really just trip over that? Oh, she got you? <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna get hurt already. She doesn't need your help to get hurt. She didn't. I know, I see that. <laughs> so we have a battle rope and TRX combination here. Alexis is on the, the TRX first. Margaret's got the ropes. For the battle ropes, back is flat, abs are tight, uh, shoulders are back. Again, it's like a half squat. And then we're going up and down, nice and fast, keeping those shoulder blades pinched and back. She's gonna be doing that for 30 seconds. Alexis is gonna be doing an underhand grip modified chin up where she's doing 15 reps. She needs to pick a distance far, uh, far enough away from the wall where they get tough for about the last three. So the closer her feet are to the wall, the tougher it's gonna be. So Margaret, you can start here in three, 
two, one, and go. Margaret's shoulders were a little bit high and tense here. I couldn't see that while filming. Make sure to get a few angles on a client's form. Alexis, go a little closer towards that wall. That's too easy for you. She was cheating. Almost done there, Margaret. Five, four, three, two, one. As you can see, we are alternating here. So now Margaret's got the TRX, Alexis has the ropes. Alexis, I'm gonna start timing you in three, two, one, and go. And Margaret, you can start whenever you're ready. She's already going, that's good. So Margaret, you need 15 reps. Try and make the last three tough. And again, the closer your feet are towards that wall, the tougher it's gonna be. Alexis, relax your elbows a little bit. There you go. Nice guys, both looking good. You can fully extend those elbows there, Margaret. There you go. Nice. Three, two, one. And Margaret, I'm gonna have you start in three, two, one, and go. Put in some exercises like the battle rope wave where clients can adjust the difficulty. This allows more experienced clients to work harder and newer clients to work a little less hard while staying active. Hang in there, guys. And five, four, three, two, one. Exactly I'm not supposed to be timing you, Alexis. You I counted. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, our last round of the TRX and the ropes. You guys know what to do. You can start when you're ready, Alexis. The clock starts when you do, 30 seconds. There we are. How does that feel, Margaret? Easy, medium, hard? Good. good. Does it feel like it's getting tough at all? Yeah. Okay, that's a good distance then, we'll keep that. Almost there, Alexis, hang in. And three, two, one, good. All right, guys, we're moving on to the core section here, our last few moves. The first one is the Russian twist. These guys both have dumbbells. They kind of already both know the Russian twist, but basically you're seated, uh, leaning back far enough to engage the abs, and then we rotate that dumbbell side to side. And feet up is harder. I'm gonna have both of you guys start feet up. Now, if you can't finish feet up and you wanna lower your feet down as you're doing the move, that's fine. We're gonna do it for 30 seconds. We are gonna start here in three, two, one, and go. And again, normally I wouldn't be so weirdly close, but you know, we're all on camera. At least I hope we're all on camera. Ooh, okay. Both looking actually really good. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work, guys. We are moving on to slow and controlled mountain climbers on the sliders. There's a few different ways to do this move. The version that we have today, basically they're just moving one leg at a time and they're trying to keep their backs nice and flat, their abs nice and tight. We're doing it for 30 seconds, okay? So don't try and speed through this, guys. All right, we are gonna start here officially in three, two, one, and go. Nice work. Looks like we have some pretty flat backs here so far. This is actually a really hard move, and they're both pretty much doing it perfectly. It's not weird for people to lose a slider every once in a while. They're doing a nice job of hanging on to them. And five, four, Three, two, one. Nice work, guys. All right, guys, we're on to round two of the Russian twist. I think the weights and everything actually looked really good in round one. They both kept their feet up the entire time. So they, um, they accepted my challenge and they, they passed it. And we're gonna do the same thing here in round two. So we're doing 30 seconds, feet up. You can lower them down if you need to over that course of time. We're gonna start in three, two, one, and go. Got some Russian twist pros in the house. All right. All we need is another five, four, three, two, one. We're moving on to round two of slider mountain climbers. Uh, honestly, they did it pretty much perfectly in round one, so there's not much to change here. Back needs to be flat, abs need to be tight, yada, yada, yada. We're going for 30 seconds. We will start officially in three, two, one, and go. By the way, this is our last move. So these guys are almost done. And hopefully, you guys found this video helpful. Hopefully, this little sample session gives you some good ideas for what you can do in a small group personal training session. Nice work, guys. Both looking perfect. And five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. You probably can't really see me, but that's okay. We're gonna do some stretching here because the session is done. You can still do partner assisted stretching if you're doing a small group training session. So I'm gonna be doing some partner assisted stretches with Margaret here. 
into Lexus. Let me have you get into Cobra. You just tell me when this feels like a good stretch in the back of your leg. Huh, pretty flexible. How about right about there? That's pretty stretchy. Okay. So this is a good stretch for her. Now, Alexis already knows what Cobra and Child's Pose are. If she didn't, of course, I would demonstrate them for her. But basically, I'm just holding the stretch when she starts to feel a good stretch. I'm not trying to torture her in any way. It doesn't need to be an aggressive stretch. In fact, we don't want it to be. And just tell me when it feels like you have a good stretch this way. That's good. Good. Alexis is just gonna keep alternating uh, between Cobra and Child's Pose. Just two really good stretches that pretty much anyone can benefit from. And going over and across. And just tell me when it feels like you have a good stretch this way. That's pretty good. Good, take a few deep breaths. All right guys, we are switching off. So Margaret is now alternating between Cobra and Child's Pose. And we're doing some hamstring work here with Alexis. Just tell me when it feels like you have a good stretch. Alexis felt that stretch pretty much right away. It usually doesn't take much, so very gently stretch out clients. I'm not showing it here, but do all stretches on both sides of the body every time. And just tell me when it feels like a good stretch here. Don't hold your breath. And over and across we go. Ooh, I can already tell this one's gonna be tight. And again, I'm not applying a whole lot of pressure here. It's, it's light. Just take a few deep breaths. Yeah, she's pretty tense here. She usually is. Good, a few more deep breaths. Again, very little pressure. Letting these muscles kind of calm down on their own. You said that's uh, good right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, we are good. So of course I would go and do the same thing on the opposite side, but uh, yeah, that's it. Hopefully you can see me in the camera. Well, that was a little bit more of an abrupt ending than we usually have in our videos, but hopefully you guys can take some things away from that session and use them in your own small group personal training sessions. Just like with many things in life, experience is the best teacher for trainers, so get out there and get that experience. In the meantime, if you guys have any questions about anything we covered today, make sure to leave those down below in the comments. And if you haven't already, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel because it does help the channel to grow, which does allow me to create more free content for all of you. Thanks for watching everyone, and until next time, stay sort of healthy.